grateful for being um, among you again. This is a very special place, and I'll prove it to you with some data. Uh, starting with putting Medicine X in its proper context, we at Simpler have analyzed thousands of healthcare conferences, and it's a really great story. There's more tweets, people, conferences are joining social, putting all this knowledge into the open. But who are these people participating? I really wish that I could show you the same kind of progress here. But the truth is that patient voices at conferences have not meaningfully improved overall. But that's in huge contrast to Medicine X. This is looking at the top 100 people by mentions. This means that these were the voices that you thought were the most important ones, because you were the one giving them these mentions, boosting their voices. Let's put that into contrast to the top 100 conferences in the world. Um, these are the largest conferences. Let me just point out two things. Do you even see the red patient slides on the right? Okay. Now try to find the yellow caregiver slice. This is one major reason why Medicine X is as impactful as it really is. But the thing is, they not invented something new here, but they have rediscovered a truth, and they're widely proclaiming it to the world. But what's shocking is how hard of hearing the rest of the industry really is. And this is not hard stuff. I'm more from a software engineering world, and it's, it's just basically a widely accepted understanding that you will create better solutions if you're willing to listen to your users. And the only way to show a willingness to listen is to give them a seat at the table. How hard is it to understand that? Seriously. This is not a new invention. This is how the universe was built to operate. It's a natural law that you cannot serve one another well without understanding each other's needs. This isn't a rule or a theory that someone made up. It's simply how the world functions. And those who will succeed are those who will attempt to align themselves with this truth, not those who try to fight it. So for Medicine X, what do you think is the natural result of being deeply aligned with this truth? My co-founder, Tom Lee, will tell you what the data shows. Thank you, Auden. Good morning. Um, if we're successful in creating this environment of trust and respect, one where everybody does have a voice and we have this willingness to listen, what's the effect of that? And could we measure it? The first degree effect of this environment is really that balance amongst the stakeholders uh, in the influential voices. But what's the impact of that? What's the second degree effect? We feel that uh, looking at the conversations taking place at, at conferences, that the volume of tweets really becomes a useless metric for our purpose in this. There are conferences where we have in excess of 20% of the tweets containing the word booth. Uh, we have other conferences where just a small handful of individuals are tweeting over a thousand times each, most of which are retweets. And there's nothing wrong with retweets, but it does make the, the metric of counting tweets much less useful. So if we throw that out, what are we left with? We believe that such an environment will foster more actual conversations. And a conversation on Twitter is when a tweet receives a written response. Not a retweet, not a like, but somebody took the time to write a reply. And so that will be our metric. 
And after studying over 2,000 conferences from 2015, we found that among healthcare conferences, there was no conference in the world that had more conversational tweets than Medicine X. As a matter of fact, it had more conversational tweets than some conferences that had almost 100 times the number of attendees. This is a conversation that took place between a physician, a patient, a hospital executive, and several others, where they were talking about patient inclusion on the interprofessional team. And this conversation was an extensive one, just between two individuals. And they were talking about being asked to sign an informed consent while in a gown on an operating table, as opposed to doing it beforehand when the individual is more mentally competent. At Medicine X, you're going to be uh, learning all kinds of new things, and you're going to meet people from every walk. You're also going to be challenged with different points of view. Share what you learn here. Tweet about it, retweet it, but by all means, have conversations and get outside of your box. Seek out deep conversations between people who are perhaps not among your peers. Do it in person and do it on the social web as well. Thank you. Thank you.